fair bit of AFL news around the place that has largely gone overlooked with everything else that's been going on. Good news out of North Melbourne. Jared Luke Davies Uniac, probably their best player now. He's going to remain in the blue and white until at least the end of 2025. Nice length of a contract there. Very, very responsible that? two year contract extension. Two years. Very nice. Very but but nice. It doesn't that just mean he can walk out when uh, he gets to free agency? Well, he can, but his next two years may not be the, the greatest. And you know, he would want to see where the club is at in the next two years. Mm-hmm. I mean, he would be 26 ish by that stage. If you're a though, Melbourne supporter, if you're a North Melbourne North supporter, Melbourne. wouldn't you be happy if he'd signed a five year deal? So you got well, him locked up? Perhaps, but I, I think it's, it's good. He's committed for. Three more seasons. It's a, anything can happen. Oh, he's got in another three, three so he's got well, this he's one got and a new 23, 24, 25. So okay. it's just a two year extension. Speaking of which, West Coast, uh, sorry, Western Bulldogs finally announced that Luke Beveridge has extended his deal for the same length of time. He did a big sit down with Mark Robinson. Sure I think that. it was yep. in Friday's paper. I mean, there's some gold in it, and some of it I want to talk about um, tomorrow if we've got time. But the fact that uh, he says Dunkley left for money. Essentially, I mean, uh, I'm paraphrasing there, and, and have shortened up the the quote. But he I said he was offered a, a fiance or wife or his, girlfriend issue. Yeah, Tipper Dwan, I think her name is. She plays her netball in South Australia of all places, but she is from yeah. Queensland. But so the netball a, season's not that long, is it? No, but um, so there's a there's a link there. So I think there's yeah. You know, I'm not sure Luke's been entirely forthright in the fact that he only left for money. Okay. I think from the conversations I've had, there was a, a few other other reasons, but he said the only player that he ever forced out of the club was Jake Stringer. Mm-hmm. Um, so there was a, a fair bit in that, but that was good. And and this quote today, I mean, it, so Patrick Dangerfield has said that uh, Max Holmes could be the best player in the competition, Jared. I want to want to read this to you. He said he's got phenomenal endurance. Yep. He's also got electric speed. Yes, yep. He's compared him to Judd. He says they haven't played him as a stoppage player yet, but he could very well do that well. He said, I believe he could be the best player in the competition at some stage. He truly could. Now, my initial reaction was to fall off my chair, mm. but I remember hearing Geelong people speak about De Koning before yep. De Koning yep. was De Koning. Yep. So I think you need to put some weight on what they're saying. I mean, yep. I don't know he's going to be the best player in the competition, but... Well, if uh, even if he's an All-Australian, I mean, that's, yeah. you know, if, if you're in the discussion... I mean, being the best player in the competition is a transient thing for most players. You know, they come and go. Uh, you might be there for a year, and uh, but, but just, you're in the top ten. If you're in the top ten for a period of time, well, you're a hell of a player. But, I mean, if Danger's not going to say that and put pressure on the kid no. unless he thinks he's got some chance. And, uh, of course, missed the grand final, but uh, they, uh, they it, lauded. Who was it, Kane, that they said was going to be the next Gary Ablett um, the young bloke who ended up? Think... Zach Butters, was it? Not no, it wasn't Geelong, Zach or... Butters. No, it was a Geelong player. Who ended up? I think at Carlton. I think he might have ended up as somebody will uh, text it through. Geelong fans. Who, who was the next Gary Ablett that uh, didn't end up being? Oh, it was Constable? Was it Charlie Constable? No, it wasn't Charlie. Well before mm-hmm. him. Okay. All right. Well, the Geelong fans would know. Four double three ninety eight uh, eleven sixteen. Mark has got the answer for us on who was going to be the next Ablett. Mark, who was it? Gary Hocking made the comment about Clint Bizzle, who ended up at your club, Jared Melbourne. That's right, Clint Bizzle it Clint was. Clint Bizzle. I knew Clint Bizzle was involved. I didn't know whether he was the man or whether he was the one saying somebody, but uh, it was Clint Bizzle. That's right. I, I thought you were talking about junior, Jared. I didn't realise you were talking about senior. Yeah, well, it was that long ago. I couldn't quite, <laughs> I couldn't quite remember, but I knew, I knew, I knew one of the ablets was involved. But, uh, but there's Bizzle. a few people texting through saying it was Billy Smets. Well, Billy Smets was another one that I had in mind. I right. thought there was a Billy there. He ended up. He's the one that ended up at Carlton. 